Hi, I'm Nazmal Idris, a developer advocate on the Android team, and welcome to this episode of DevBytes. In today's episode, we're going to cover the new printing API that was released with KitKat, aka Android 4.4. Android 4.4 introduces native platform support for printing, along with APIs for managing printing and adding new types of printer support. The platform provides a print manager that mediates between applications requesting printing and installed print services that actually do the printing. The print manager provides shared services and a system user interface for printing, giving users consistent control over printing from any application. The print manager also ensures the security of content as it passes across processes from an application to a print service. Most devices running Android 4.4 will include Google Cloud Print pre-installed as a print service out of the box, as well as several Google apps that support printing, including Chrome, Drive, Gallery, and QuickOffice. So what is this printing API? Well, the print API allows app developers to write applications that can print any type of content to printers that can be connected over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, or any other kind of printing service, for example, Google Cloud Print. It also allows print OEM, printer OEMs to generate print services and distribute them as APKs on the Play Store so that their printers will plug seamlessly into the framework so that users can print their documents to any connected printer. The system handles a transaction between an application that wants to print a document and the services that deliver print jobs to an actual printer. The print framework provides all the APIs necessary to specify a print document and deliver to the system for printing. As an app developer, which APIs you actually need for a given print job depends on the type of content that you actually want to print. For example, is it ima are the images, HTML, or a PDF canvas? In print-enabled applications, users can discover available printers, change paper sizes, choose specific pages to print, and print almost any kind of document, image, or file. Print services are pluggable components that contain vendor-specific logic, services, and so on. These are managed by the system and are responsible for discovering printers, interacting with them, and reporting uh, their state about what's going on with the print jobs. As a printer OEM, you can use the print service framework to provide interoperability with your printers from Android devices. And, and this is really important. You can build and distribute these services APKs, which users can install on their devices, and they can be updated over the air via the Play Store, which is pretty awesome. A print service application operates primarily as a headless service by subclassing the print service class, which receives print jobs from the system and communicates it to printers using the appropriate protocols. The print services will get, print, will get printed content as a PDF file and may apply whatever transformations they need to make uh, to the data so that it's optimal for printing. And print services have to implement APIs for being queried by the printers that they manage. So now, from an application developer perspective, I will show you how to use a print API to quickly print content. So for the broadest compatibility, Android uses PDF as its primary file format for printing. Uh, before printing, your application needs to generate a properly paginated PDF version of your content. And for, for your convenience, we actually have helper classes that allow you to very quickly print web views and also pretty quickly uh, create PDF uh, documents as well. Actually, PDF output. So. Um, if your application knows how to draw the content, it can quickly create a PDF for printing. Now, if you want to print a bitmap, it's actually very easy to do this. With very little code, you can print out images. And the only one option you have to think about is whether you want the, uh, the printed output to scale to fit or scale to fill the actual printed page. So what's the difference? Uh, scale to fit, make sure that your bitmap fits within the maximum dimensions of the printed output page. So with a square bitmap on a rectangular page, it actually results in white space on the top and the bottom of the page, as you can see in this example. Scale to fill, on the other hand, make sure that your bitmap is scaled to fill as much of the printed output page as possible. And this might mean that some portions of the image are not ac actually printed because they exceeded the bounds of the printed page, again, as you can see in the example. So here's, actually, here's, a, here's some code that shows you how easy it is to actually do this. So again, the only option that you really need to be mindful of is what parameter to pass the getScaleMode method. So once the print uh, bitmap method is called, no further action from your app is required. The Android uh, modal dialog box for printing appears and allows the user to select the printer and whatever print, print options they want. The user can then print the image or cancel the action. If they choose to print the image, then a print job is created and a printing notification appears in the system bar. Now let's say you wanted to print some HTML content. So here's some code that will show you how to do that. 
The first thing you do is you can generate some HTML, put in a string, uh, then load that in a web view, and finally uh, attach a web view client to, uh, to, to the web view uh, so that once uh, the uh, content is actually loaded, you can submit the print job uh, to the print services. So if you want to include graphics in your HTML content, um, just place them in the assets directory of your project and specify the path to this folder as a parameter to the load data with base URL method instead of passing null as we did in this example. You can also load an actual web page for printing just by replacing load data with base method call with load URL. And this is very convenient if you actually have uh, HTML content that you've generated on the server side. Now, there are a few limitations of using HTML printing. Uh, and one is you cannot uh, add headers or footers, and this includes uh, page numbers. Also, the user can't specify uh, print ranges. So for example, you can't uh, print uh, page two to four of a 10-page HTML document. And also, an instance of WebView can only process one print job at a time. Uh, and finally, WebView printing from JavaScript is not yet supported. For example, window.print JavaScript call will not work. We are planning to address these limitations in future releases. And uh, please, free, uh, please feel free to open Android uh, open source bugs for features that you feel are important that are missing or changes that you want to see, because this, uh, this feedback is very valuable to us. So finally, there is a PDF document class, which allows you to very quickly generate PDF content using the platform drawing APIs. So this new PDF document API offers a convenient way for you to do this by getting a canvas object uh, by calling the get canvas method on PDF document. Once you have the canvas, you can draw your printable content on it using the standard uh, graphics APIs on Android. And when you're done drawing your content, you simply submit the document to the printing subsystem and it'll just print. So finally, uh, this, this DevBite has been a quick overview of all that's available. If you want more information, we actually have a training guide called uh, Printing a Document on developers.android.com. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Take care.